There's many theories as to how Seuss drumming became part of Sweden's culinary culture. The most popular story is from a couple of Swedish sailors in the 16th century. The sailors were running low on salt, which was a common way to preserve food, and their barrels of herring began to go bad. They sold the rotten fish to some locals at a Finnish port, but a year later, when the sailors returned, the Finns actually wanted more of the rotten herring because they had enjoyed it so much. This prompted the Swedish sailors to try it for themselves, and they too apparently liked it. Alas, the Seuss drumming was born. Legends aside, the history of Seuss drumming seems to begin during a time when brine was very expensive, and the weak brine used in the fermenting process could have been a way to cut costs for preservation that led to this dish. At the time, storing the fish in wooden barrels would have been normal practice, with families making a batch of the delicacy and eating it over time. Canning the product only appeared in the 19th century, and that's how Seuss drumming became a commercial product.